my math party people and my ASVAB party people. Hopefully you're having a great weekend so far. Coach Anderson here. We're going to tackle this question here that gives some of my students some massive headaches. I got your back. So this one's going to be considered an advanced word problem in the domain of distance, rate, and time. So if you feel like you know what distance, rate, time is, go ahead, pause the video, try this out. But I got your back every single step of the way. Let's go. So first things first, what's the question? What do we want? So it says, if Karen drove this many miles in all, then what was her average rate of travel in miles per hour before the increase in speed? Okay, so it's very important to note. So let's go ahead, grab a red highlight here. And we're saying, what was her average rate of travel before the increase in speed? So, okay, sounds good. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for the rate, again, before speeding up, before speeding up up equals blank miles per hour so remember any time that you're identifying the question typically you want to assign it a variable because you're going to be working with that quote variable to set up an equation or some sort of relationship or some sort of logical path and then you're going to work on that by calculating so again that's the first step always boom that's what we want now let's take a look at the surrounding information beginning with the same sentence Karen drove 837 miles in all. So in all basically just means total. So let's go ahead and highlight that and let's write that down. So total distance, total distance right over here, that's gonna equal 837 miles. Sounds good. And now let's continue looking at the information to see what we can you know, conjure up and put together here. So on a trip, Karen drove in nine hours before increasing her average speed. So it looks like we have two legs of this trip. We have before increasing her speed and then after. So I'm gonna write down over here on the left side, you know, I'm gonna say before, and then I'm gonna say after, and I'm gonna write down the details for each. So before the increase in speed, you can see clearly here that our friend Karen, let's go ahead and use a green highlight, drove for nine hours. So we see that the time equals nine hours. The rate before the speed increase was just going to be R. Again, right there, the rate before increasing the speed. So that's what we're looking for. So this is a good thing, everybody. Let's take a moment to un you know, just understand how important this is. Yeah, we don't know what the rate is before, but that's what we're looking for. But being able to incorporate it into our solution, that's what you need to do. Incorporating the variable that you're looking for, that's going to be so important because once you set up your relationship, you'll see exactly how you can get to that variable you're looking for. So stay tuned and watch here. So after we see, I'm going to highlight this. Let's go ahead and say purple here. So we see increased her average speed by six miles per hour. And then we see a time period of two hours. Okay. So after the time period was two hours and the rate, what was the rate going to be? Well, here's the thing. The, bef you know, the rate before was just going to be R. If we increased by six miles an hour, the new rate, what's that going to be? Well, that's going to be our previous rate increased by six miles an hour. So plus six. It's that simple. We can talk about it in that way. Remember, the variable is just a placeholder for a number. We just don't know what the number is yet, but we can talk about it like a number. So there we are. We have the before, we have the after, and we know the total distance, 837 miles. Where am I going with this? Well, guess what, my party people? The total distance is gonna equal the first distance before the speed increase, plus the distance after the speed increase, and that's how you get your total. But how do you find distance again? Oh yeah, that's right. Rate times time. Rate times time. So that's really it, my party people. Let's go ahead and find the rate times time for the first distance, rate times time for the second distance, set it equal to the total, and we're done, and that's it. So let's go ahead and follow through here. We'll see that, again, our total distance, which is 837 miles, equals the first distance. So before the speed increase, we saw that the rate times time will just be the R that we're looking for, times nine hours. So we have nine R. Again, that's, that's rate times time right there. And then we're going to be adding what happens in the second part. So after the speed increase, that'll be a time period of two hours and the rate is R plus six. 
So rate times time would simply be written as right over here, rate is the previous rate plus six and the time is two hours. I know that looks really, really weird, especially when we're so used to just working with one distance rate time formula. But in this problem, we're to get the total distance, you added those two previous distances, which can be represented as rate times time and rate times time. That's the distance here, distance there, and add them all up and you're happy and ready to go. So that's it, there's the setup. We have what we need to solve. Now it's time to actually solve this equation. And so now's a great opportunity to remind you, you can get thousands of videos just like this. You can join me in live classes. You can get progress reports and personalized help every single step of the way to the score you want and that job you deserve. So make sure to take advantage of our Easter holiday sale. That way you don't end up spending thousands of dollars to get the score you want and have a happy life. We actually charge less than 100 and that'll give you over 24 hours of classes in one month. And even if you can't make it, no worries at all because everything's recorded and you have full online on-demand courses accessible whenever you want. I got your back, my party people. So don't wait. Sign up now. It ends this weekend. So let's go ahead and get to it. So let's go ahead and get back here and solve this equation. So here we go. We'll have 837 equals 9R. That's the easy part. It's this that we want to figure out. And here we just have to distribute that 2 to the R and 2 to the 6. So two times R, that'll be two R. Two times six, that'll be 12. From here, we'll go ahead and combine our like terms, nine R and two R. So we'll have 837 equals 11 R plus 12. Next, we'll just continue on. We'll go ahead and solve this like a regular old equation by subtracting 12 on both sides. Once we do that, we see that we have a cancellation on the right and we end up having 825 equals 11 R. And there we are, let's go ahead and move this over here. So 825 equals 11R. Now we'll divide both sides by 11. And that's it, we're good to go. So let's figure out what that's gonna be. So let's do some long division, 11 into 825. I'm looking for where I can find the room for this. So I'll go ahead and just take this room here. Sorry if I messed anything up on the right side there, but no worries. So let's go ahead and do that right over here. 11 into 825. So 11 into 82, that's gonna be seven times because that's 77. So that'll be a remainder of five, drop that five. 11 goes into 55, five times, and there's your answer. 75, the original rate before the increase in speed was 75 miles per hour. And because we set the variable up to represent exactly what we wanted to find, once we found it, we're good. There's our answer, 75 miles per hour before the increase in speed. It was 81 miles per hour after the increase in speed. But there we go. Make sure to start with what you want, what you have, and then the connection. And you'll have yourself on the way to a higher ASVAB score. So there it is, my party people. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like, a comment, and a follow. That way we can keep doing what we do for you and everyone else who needs it. We've got your back every step of the way, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, everyone.